I'm going to take us, Greg, in a completely opposite direction. This is complete speculation. Can't back it up in any such way because history's already been made and it's already uh, said and done. But Bo Pelini obviously was Mr. Nine Wins at Nebraska. That was that was the floor, nine and four. Uh, I believe he had a 10 and four when they went to the Big Ten championship game, had some really good seasons, obviously, at the end of the Big 12 run. If he stays at Nebraska, do you think that there were other factors involved moving to the Big Ten being one, changes recruiting? Well, they'd already moved to the Big Ten. Well, I know that they had already moved to the Big Ten, but it that obviously hadn't taken complete, you know, takes take some time for things to for for things like that to have a complete impact. So my question is whether they would have experienced this drop off anyway. No, I don't no. No? I, no, I don't okay. I think if Bo Pelini's, you know, doesn't basically get himself fired and he stays there, um, I don't think there's a change being made there if, you know, if he was you know, like I said, you know, he, he put his own foot in his mouth and basically demanded to be fired. And, you know, he had some really bad administration going on there at the time as well. And and that's what, what I really like about what's going on here now with Trev Alberts is you've got an administration that backs you more of it. No, I mean, if Bob Pelini sticks around oh, a couple, two or three more years, Nebraska still, I think, uh, you know, Maybe not winning nine games a year, but they're still being, you know, they're still respectable and going to bowl games. And, uh, you know, you don't see this complete drop off because, you know, Bo Pelini is still running an offense at that time that, that can actually compete in the Big Ten. Um, and then you see, you know, after after he, he's gone, that, um, you know, the following couple of coaching staffs kind of changed the, the whole system. You know, Mike Riley comes in with a whole pro style system and, you know, it just didn't work. Um, you know, the only time he was really successful when he still had Bo Pelini's guys in the first place, you know, as seniors. So, um, no, I didn't, it, obviously, in my opinion, I don't see Nebraska being, you know, in the dumpster like they have been. Um, I mean, you know, and I'm sorry to, you know, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Mike Riley, but it kind of started the downturn right there. And, um, no, I think Nebraska is still winning seven, eight games a year with Bo Pelini there still running the show and still having a chance. I mean, still being a team that, you, you know, you, that, that's going to compete for, for a division title in the Big Ten as well, and not, you know, being in the, being in the doghouse of the division. So. He was the model of consistency, if nothing else. Yeah. And he really was he, he, nine and four, 10 and four, 10 and four, nine and four, 10 and four, nine and four, nine and three. Yeah. He knew a little something about how to win games. Didn't he? Now I know if we could, go back in time 10 years and hear from Nebraska fans. They weren't necessarily happy with getting their rear ends kicked in by the best teams on the schedule, but going nine and four and 10 and four every year certainly beats three and nine and four and eight. You're beating the teams you're supposed to beat, you know, and what else, what else do you want? I mean, you're always going to be competitive. If you win those games on your schedule that you are supposed to beat, you're in and you're out. You're always putting yourself in a good spot um, to be successful there. Yeah, so his last season. If you think about last season when you, you know, you blow it against Northwestern in the opener, and then you come home and you – you completely struggle against two teams that you should have blown the doors off of, but you know, you make them close games and, and you know, the confidence level is to me is just not there when, you know, you're playing teams, you know, even, you know, 
like in North Dakota, and, and they give you all kinds of fits and stuff like that. You should be beating these people by 50 or 60 points. And, uh, you know, the coaching has just not been there uh, for quite some time now. So that that's – I that that's going to be the biggest difference I see in this team, you know, moving forward here in 2023. 